Hello and welcome to a new adventure. So today we're going to be looking at Tingli Station, which was on the Ardsley to Putsi Railway. Now, where we're at now, I'm going to carry on exactly where I left you in the last video. So we covered that way and we left you, we started down at the Ardsley Station and the Ardsley uh, sidings down there. Well, we made our way up here now to Tingley and to my left is what remains, if anything, of the Tingley station. I'm right on the site of where it started, so it's just behind the camera now. I'm not sure what we're going to find, but that's what we're going to find out today, because I've never been here before. Now hopefully we're going to find something. But the other side of the station, there was a bridge where it crossed the main road into Leeds. Now, the road I'm talking about is the one that White, the White Rose Centre sits on today. That's just behind the camera on the other side of the station. But like I said, that's all been completely remodelled. Because further ahead, there was another branch line that branched off down towards Dewsbury, or Batley. And um, there was also a bridge over the road after the station. That's all completely gone now because of the M62, which is just to my left over here. So when that came through and they built the huge Tingley interchange, which you would have heard of, uh, I think it's junction 27? 28, Junction 28 on the M62, just to my left. And that is now what sits on the site of where the old road was and the old branch line that went off this line. So there's not much left. I'll show you on a map now. And if you just look at this map, you can see what it used to look like. So there's Tingley Station. You can see the bridge across the road there. Now we do have pictures of that bridge, which I'll put in the end of this video. So keep your eyes peeled for them. But you can see that the road layout was completely different and you can also see the branch line leading off there. I think there was a colliery just beyond that as well. You should see it on the map anyway. And then look at it today and how different it is. You can see the M62 going right through the site there and also the huge roundabout interchange that now sits there and the main road all the way down into Leeds and the White Rose. Okay, so back to where we are now. We're currently on the site of the Tingley Station. And we're going to have a look around this whole site and see if there's anything left of that station and the buildings that were there. The first thing I've just spotted over here, there's lots and lots of red bricks here again, red brick. A big pile of them over there. So the line would have come towards me here, somewhere in this vicinity. Now this is a tarmac road, it used to be. Again, I'm not sure if this was part of the station access. I'm going to have a look at the map now and confirm. This could have been the old station access road because it goes both ways and it goes all the way down there to the main road at the side. So I've just looked at the maps and it's confirmed it. This was the old road that ran just behind the station buildings. So this used to be the access to the station. And I'm told the station building would have been just over here. Or one of them. There was one on both sides as far as I'm aware. And you'll see it in the pictures at the end. This would have been the site of one of the station buildings here. There wouldn't have been much to it. It wasn't a massive station. You can see like a concrete foundation down there. And the platforms would have been just in this hedge here. So what I'm going to do in a minute is head round there and see if I can see anything in there. So we're going to follow this uh, station access road down here. So it heads down and it would have joined the main road at the bottom. Again for another access in and it also accessed it from behind me. So I'm just heading off down into the undergrowth, just in front of the station building. And the first thing I found is a couple of concrete posts here. And what looks to be like an old concrete edge there. That could be the platform edge. Like I said, the building that I was at was just down there, looking this way. So the station platforms were here. The line would have been just down there. So I'm going to head down this way. If, I'm, if I can uh, manage to survive. And hopefully we're going to find something. Now it's really hard to imagine where I am, but that way was the tracks here. There was a platform edge there and station building would have been here. And there would have been another station building on this side and another platform edge somewhere over here. 
So I'm on the other side now where the other station building would have been. Now having looked at the pictures a bit more carefully, it appears that one of the station buildings or maybe some of it was built out of wood. Now there's a lot, a lot of bricks just to my right over here in the trees, a big pile of red brick. Uh, you, you won't really see it on the camera, but there's a big mound just there and they're all bricks. So that could be the remains. And also there's hell of a lot of wood here. Huge chunks of wood all over the floor. A big piece just in there and a big pile over there. So that could be the remains of the station building that was here. And um, like I said, a lot of it was bulldozed. And you'll see a picture at the end of this video of it uh, in a derelict state. And you can see that most of it's gone and it's been bulldozed and flattened and leveled and built on and everything. So I'm hoping we might find something. I'm gonna keep going. If not, we'll move on. So I'm gonna keep pressing on. And although there's not much left, you can definitely see the impressions of where the platforms were and the buildings as well. You can see the ground around it. And I'm just making one more trip just round the back to double check there's nothing at this side here. So I've just had a thorough scour around the site and there's absolutely nothing significant that I can see anyway. But you can get the basic premise of where we are and the layout roughly. So what we're going to do is move on that way. And um, I'm going to leave this section. But just to let you know, as we move further down the line towards Pudsey, there is a lot more things left on this line that we will find later. And uh, there might be some surprises along the way, but I'd know that there's definitely some things further on. And uh, not much at this end, unless we find it, but much, much further down anyway, there's plenty to come. So what we're going to do is press on that way. Now, just after the station, it crossed on a bridge, like I said, over the main road. So again, you'll see a picture at the end of this video of that bridge. And then when it got to the other side, there was a colliery on the other side. That's now the site of a large industrial estate. So there's nothing left there. What I'm going to do is take you to the next section beyond that, where it ran through the back of Morley and headed towards the next station, which was the Morley Top Station. So I'll see you a bit further up the track. So it's a new day now. And today is absolutely boiling. It's about 30 degrees almost. And it's really humid today. So I'm going to be braving the weather that way along the railway line in the hottest weather we've had this year so far. But I'm glad to be out, it's beautiful. Anyway, you saw me talk about Tingley Station, which was just over there in the distance. So now we've come as far or as close as we can on the other side of where the new roundabout is, the Tingley Roundabout, to where the Tingley Station was. So the line disappears where the roundabout is, obviously, because it's all been redeveloped. And I've also built a, a big uh, industrial park opposite as well, which is taking up most of that site now. So I've come as close as I can to the station on this side. And I just want to show you behind the camera now. Right about here, there was a large colliery. It was very big. It was called West Ardsley Collieries. And just off the line, which is on this path that I'm stood on now, there was a, a lot of branch lines that came off here to my left and went off into the colliery over there. So I'll just show you this way. So Tingley Station is down there, across the roundabout, behind them industrial units. And then over here, we've now got what looks like some kind of a brewery of some sort. I think it's Carlsberg, the factory here. Anyway, this used to be the West Ardsley Colliery here. So this whole site was a huge mine. And this was the track bed here. So you would have had a few branch lines dipping off and off that way into the colliery there. And then also at this point, just after the station down there, when I showed you on the map earlier on, the, there was a branch line that came off and headed off down that way, which would have gone right across the middle of the roundabout where it is now. So where the Tingley roundabout is, there would have been a line right through that, following the curve, which is a branch line, and that headed off down towards Batley, which is one of the branch lines that we're going to look at in another video later on. So that, bra that branched off down there towards Batley. And also, because it was like a little triangle here, there was also another branch line just behind me, which I'll show you in a second. And that headed off from this line again down to the Batley branch. So there was 
If you come in from that way, you would have gone down that one, and if you were coming from this way, you would have gone down this one. So what I'm going to do is head off towards behind me here. Now, the line has been cut off by this building here. There's a huge mass there now. I'll show you the mass. This huge radio tower here. So that's plonked right in the middle of where the line was. Now, I don't sh I'm not sure if the line was exactly where this path is. It could have been just slightly to the right there because it's level all across. Now, I know that at this point, there was probably three or four tracks here because of the colliery, like I said, and there was some sidings. So that could have well been four tracks at this point. So I could be stood on two of them. And also, it was two tracks continuing on. So what we're going to do is head straight on towards this building here. Now, I've got a, a decision to make when I get here. Do I head down the nice footpath down there, where it's all been tarmacked, or do I head this way? Yeah, let's do this one. There's more chance of us finding anything down a uh, back alley than there is on a major cycle path, which is what the track bed is now. But you know me, I like to head into the undergrowth, because you might find more down here. I'm just looking in the uh, bushes because they're the best places, especially when it's dark like this, to find anything that could remain. And I would have thought there'd be something, you know, old railway buildings or any colliery buildings or anything like that. If it, if it was gonna, be, if there's gonna be anything, it would be around here. No, that one didn't pay off. There's nothing I can see down there, but I am on a large embankment now. Uh, so the colliery would have been to my right here. And you can actually see a red wall in the distance there that goes all down the side of this site here. I'm wondering if that was the original colliery wall. I've got a feeling it will be. And there's also a really old 50s fence. You know, the old barbed wire fences with the concrete posts all the way down. I've got a feeling that's colliery related as well because the uh, brewery building behind us, that's fairly recent. And again, when I say recent, I'm talking 1990s. See, if I say recent and I'm talking the 80s or the 90s, to a lot of people they would think, well, that's not recent, that's like 40, 30, 40 years ago. But when you're talking about history like I do, and you're going back to the 1800s and the 1700s, and when I'm doing the canals, even the 1600s, um, it is recent. <laughs> so when I keep referring to the things being recent, they are in terms of history, but not to most people. Okay, so I'm heading away now from this tower that I showed you earlier, we're walking this way. And this is the point where the branch line would have gone off. You can see the curve in the path there, which follows the branch line to a certain degree. So the branch line would have gone off down there towards Batley and across the what is now the A650. And the, this line would have continued straight on that way, straight forward. And again, you can see the colliery site over there. But now we're heading straight forward. The next point down this line would have been a bridge crossing Top Cliff Lane, I think it is, which is the next road coming up. There would have been a huge bridge across there and there was a, a mill on the right hand side. But now it's gone, the mill's gone, but there's a new mill there now. And again, I say new, it's probably 80 years old, but there's a new mill there right where the bridge would have been. So what we're gonna do is head down here on the embankment and I'll show you the uh, bridge when we get to it down here. Now I've just been walking down the lovely tarmac path, which is just over there. But that doesn't follow the track bed, that's at the side of it. Right where I'm stood now is the track bed. And again, it's a nice muddy path, but like I said, you find the best things on these kind of paths. But just before I show you that, just look at the view over here. So it's a lovely summer's day, and you can see right off into Leeds city centre, which is directly there. So that's straight down into Leeds. And then over here, we've got Morley. And if you just look in the distance, you might be able to see the clock tower just there for Morley. That's the town hall clock tower. But you can also see while we're here that we're actually on an, an embankment now. It drops down there quite significantly. And uh, 
like I said, I'm walking on the track bed here. And I've noticed as well, as I'm walking round, there's a hell of a lot of ballast again in the middle down there. So I'm going to guess the tracks would have been here, right in the middle. Maybe even as far as this, but you can see we're on an embankment anyway, I'll just show you here. You can see how it drops away down there. So it's definitely uh, building up for the bridge, which is coming up. Now, like I said earlier on, that mill there, I mean, it's quite an old mill. It actually says the date on the chimney. It says 1906. So it's actually older than what I thought. So 1906 for that mill. Um, but on the old map that I'm using, which is from the late 1800s, that wasn't there. So that was obviously added after the map was done. And to my right, there was a large mill just over there. But again, that doesn't exist now. So it's kind of swapped places. We're about to get to the bridge any minute. Now, I say a bridge, there's nothing there today. It doesn't exist anymore. But you can see where the banking drops away, where the bridge would have been. And this mill, or this car park of this mill, is now built on top of where the other bridge would have been, the other side, the abutment. Okay, so right where we are now, you can see that it now drops down here. So there would have been a bridge straight across here, directly across there. And right where that car park is there now, and then pallets would have been the line continuing on an embankment that way towards Morley. The next station down there is what they called Morley Top Station, because there was already a Morley station, so that was Morley Top Station. Okay, so I've walked a bit further down the track now, and I'm in a little housing estate. And you can clearly see the uh, embankment to my right here. So all this tree line here. There's now a big industrial park just up there. So that's built on the track bed but the actual embankment is still here. Now what we're gonna do is head off down this path here, which heads down the side of the embankment. Now there used to be a bridge just at the end of here, uh, over the road that came through. It was like a lane, but I think it was more of a farmer's track that used to cross down here. Obviously uh, none of these houses would have been here back in the day. So I've just made my way up this path here. Now the line would have been to my right here on this embankment and there would have been a bridge right there. Like I said, this would have been no more than a footpath or a farmer's track. Because if you look on the map, there's a lane that stops up there, but on the map that lane wasn't there. So I've got a feeling this was just like an access route or a footpath. The line would have crossed over here, headed towards that house there and continued in a straight line that way, all the way down to Morley Station. So I've just made my way down into Morley Centre, a bit further down the route. And I've come to the point now where we're about to reach the Morley Top Station. And just behind me would have been the embankment that the railway was on in them trees there. So I was a bit further down there earlier on at the bridge. And all it does is follow the route of the houses along the back, just up there. And then it comes out up to here. And you can still see the uh, embankment there. And when it got round here, now Morley Top Station would have been directly over there and I'll show you a bit closer but the uh, embankment you can see still continues to my left here when it reached here the train the line would have gone onto a large viaduct which spanned this whole valley here so this main road that you can see the cars going up and down this would have been here originally so as you can see today there's a roundabout there now this road here through the middle would have been originally there like I said going that way I don't think this one on the left was here and that one over there just joined it at a junction but right across here from right behind me here there would have been a large abutment just there and there would have been a huge steel viaduct going right across there to the other side now when we do the uh, Morley station video the Morley top station video which is the next one which is just over there. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of this area on that video. But I'm also going to put, if I can, at the end of this video, so stay tuned at the end of this video for some pictures of the Tingley site and all the way through here. But I'm going to put, if I can, a picture of that viaduct in on this uh, video as well, just showing you where I am right now. Now, I don't want to spoil the next video, but if you just look behind me now, you can actually see the other abutment of the viaduct on the other side. It's directly over there. 
That's the stone abutment for the viaduct, so you can see it would have come directly across here into this direction here. It's obviously gone now, and like I said, they've got a nice uh, new road system here. Well, stay tuned for some pictures straight after this. But thank you very much for joining me on this Tingley Station video. And like I said, join me in the next video where we'll be starting at Morley Top Station just over there. And we'll be heading on further up the line. We're also going to take a look at a ventilation shaft for a tunnel that runs under Morley, which is called the Morley Tunnel. And it's not related to this line, but the ventilation shaft is on this route. So I'll show you that in the next video as well. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please give it a like, the video, and also any comments or any questions, drop them down below. But I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.